What's up guys, Adrian here. Welcome to my channel on passive income investing. In this video, I wanna share my opinion on why I think it's a great time to invest in the cannabis sector right now in 2020. So this sector has been completely destroyed, uh, especially in the second half of 2019 and continues to struggle right now along with every other sector uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I have two uh, main reasons why I think it's a perfect time to invest in cannabis right now so my number one reason is potential many people underestimate this ma magical plant and the industries it will disrupt or already started disrupting it's important to understand that this industry is not only about joints and stone teenagers it's much much bigger than that this industry can disrupt the pharmaceutical and beverage industries so the medical uh, aspect, for instance, already cannabis is being used to treat a number of medical uh, issues like pain, anxiety, uh, eating disorders, epilepsy, and more. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that pain and, ex and anxiety are a billion dollar industry in their own right. We haven't even scratched the surface here because it's still illegal at the federal level in the US and only recently became uh, fully legal in Canada at the end of 2018. So there are numerous medical trials and tests that need to be done before the full uh, medical potential is unlocked. But make no mistake about it, this product could be a huge disruptor in the healthcare sector. Furthermore, now on the recreational side, when most people think of cannabis, they think of teenagers on the street smoking joints and getting high, right? Well, there's much more to it than that. Cannabis could be consumed in many different ways via food products like chocolates or candy, commonly referred to as edibles, and even beverage products. On March 16, 2020, not too long ago, the biggest cannabis company in the world, Canopy Growth, released its first uh, beverage product called Hounds Tooth and Soda under their flagship recreational brand tweed so think about this for a second a drink that gives you a buzz like alcohol but is not bad for you oh and the drink has zero grams of sugar and three calories so don't you think that younger generations will gravitate towards uh, this instead of alcohol one of the longest lasting and most profitable industries of all time it's pretty much just a matter of time Still don't believe me? Well, guess what company partnered with Canopy Growth by investing about $4 billion in the company? Constellation Brands, which is a Fortune 500 uh, company who is an international producer of beer, wine, and spirits. So these guys are not a small player. This company is worth about $30 billion, and now they own a, about 40% of Canopy Growth. So why would they do that? Well, because they're smart and know that the future of alcohol might be bleak. I mean, we all know that alcohol is bad for our health and the newer generations are drinking less and less of it. So the future of recreational drinking is probably cannabis. Oh, and guess who became the new CEO of Canopy Growth at the beginning of 2020? The CFO or Chief Financial Officer of Constellation Brands. So that just proves my point. They obviously feel that this is a crucial investment for them and for the future of their company. Also, let's not forget that this is not just a Canadian opportunity, but a global one. Many of the big cannabis companies are based in Canada because Canada was the first G7 country to legalize it. But this product is consumed all over the world and companies like Canopy Growth are positioning themselves uh, to be the global leader. So I reiterate, this is a huge investing opportunity because of the potential. But why now? Why do I think 2020 is a great time to invest? So reason number two is value. In my opinion, the speculation bubble has already burst and I think we're at the bottom right now in terms of stock prices. So talk about bad timing, just when things were starting to stabilize a little bit for the cannabis companies, the COVID-19 pandemic hit, further lowering stock prices. So just to quickly understand why this happened, we need to analyze the history of legal cannabis. I'll make it short and sweet. So Canada legalized the cannabis at the federal level in October 2018, the first G7 country uh, to do so. There was a huge speculation bubble that occurred leading up to that date, which is typical for a new industry as this creates a lot of buzz and speculation, which can dramatically raise a stock price with no real data backing it up, like the internet bubble, also known as the dot-com bu bubble. 
So if you never heard about it, which is the case for a lot of people my age as we were kids or teenagers back then, I'll quickly summarize. So in the 90s, in the 90s there was a quick rise in stock prices for internet-based startup companies because investors were blindly throwing money at them, essentially because of FOMO, fear of missing out. So a rapid um, a rise in stock prices for a particular sector with no real data backing it up is called a bubble or a speculative bubble. So in 2001 and 2002, when reality uh, set in and these companies started reporting their quarterly earnings, investors um, started selling the stocks just as quickly as they bought them, causing the bubble to burst or prices to uh, drop dramatically. For example, Amazon, which was part of the dot-com bubble, was trading at about $80 to $100 in late 1999. In 2000, the price started dropping, and in 2001, the stock was trading near or under $10 a share. And we all know how Amazon is doing right now, right? It's currently a little over $2,000 a share. So what would your investment be worth today if you invested $10,000 in Amazon at $10 a share? Well, the answer is $2 million. Not bad, right? Yeah, you have to wait 20 years, but it's well worth it in my opinion. So for the cannabis sector, the same thing is happening. Once it became legal, speculation started to dwindle. And in 2019, the sector as a whole reversed course uh, because they started falling like crazy once the company started uh, reporting their quarterly earnings and they were way below expectations, which is completely normal. Keep in mind, this is a brand new industry and it will take time for companies to be efficient and make a profit. They're still in the very early stages and there's a lot of government regulation to navigate through as well as clinical trials uh, to perform. So investors got impatient and started selling and throughout 2019 until now, stock prices tanked. And in my opinion, we're either close to the bottom or already past it. So don't take my word for it. Let's just quickly check out the stock charts of some of the biggest public cannabis companies so you could see for yourself what I'm talking about here. So let's start with Canopy Growth, the biggest public company uh, cannabis related right now. So uh, if we look at the three year chart, we could see here starting in uh, May 2017, uh, where uh, leading up to the legalization, there's been a huge increase of price uh, all the way up until April of 2019, when I think the bubble burst. And as you could see, just as quickly as it went up, it's going down. So right now it's at uh, very, very low levels here at about $20. And if we look at other companies as well, it's pretty much the, the graphs almost look identical. So Kronos, another big one, you could see a big ramp up, a huge uh, price increase here until April and then all the way back down. Aurora Cannabis, this one's been hit especially hard, same type of deal, so an increase and then starting in April, all the way back down. Uh, Afria, same type of thing. Hexo is another big one. This one took a big beating. It was about $10 in April and now it's under a dollar. It's like at 67 cents. Uh, Organogram, uh, same type of deal. You can see that the stock, the, the stock charts pretty much all tell the same story, uh, which further proves my point where I think the speculation bubble has burst. So that's it guys, those are the reasons why I think it's a great time uh, to invest in the cannabis sector right now. So the million dollar question is, what stocks do I buy? Do I buy Canopy Growth? Do these stocks even give a dividend? So don't forget as passive income investors, it's mandatory that we buy stocks that give a dividend. So in another video on this topic, I will answer exactly that. I will show you the best, easiest, and safest way to invest in the cannabis sector, all the while getting a really nice dividend. So please check out that video, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And let me know if you uh, actually agree with my reasoning here, or if you disagree, uh, let me know why in the comment section below. So see you next time.